I am holding two skincare products in my hands right now and I'm looking at the back. It looks like mumbo jumbo. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily B. Today I'll be talking about the most complicated and usually misunderstood part of skincare which is the ingredient list. Did you know that the average woman uses about 12 personal care products every day? That adds up to about 160 ingredients on your skin on the daily basis. Still most of us don't really know what's in those products how to use those ingredients and how they work on our skin. I know in the past, skincare was so simple, just a cleanser and a moisturizer, but now most products contain active ingredients that are meant to improve your skin. But if you don't know how to use them correctly or what they do, they can really mess up your skin. That's why this video is so important. As part of my skincare for beginner series, I will help you understand how to read and make sense of a skincare ingredient list. A skincare ingredient list is the stuff that you see at the back of the product. This is where you get a blueprint of what's inside the bottle. If you are building a house, this is the plan before you start building the house. And all these ingredients, I, some of them I don't even know how to read them. It, it's a lot. So today we're going to break it down, make it simple so that when you're buying your products, you're a little bit informed. I am a beauty therapist. I still check the ingredients. Sometimes I forget what something does. Sometimes I haven't seen some ingredients as well because things are constantly changing. New brands are coming in. The beauty industry is evolving. But I, I keep having to re-educate myself. Skincare is changing and nearly every product now has active ingredients in it. If you are new to skincare, reading the labels can be confusing. The long names can seem so complicated. It's like literally speaking in another language. This is one of the main reasons why I started this channel actually, to help cut through the noise and understand what you're putting on your skin, know what's in the product, what it helps you do, and help you choose what works for your skin instead of what's just trendy. So many trends, we all get influenced myself too but we have to know what we are putting on your skin these are chemicals we have got to know what they are it also helps you layer your products correctly and avoid skin problems that could be prevented so let's really really break it all down i have some five simple steps for reading a skincare list make it simple and hopefully you can remember it number one you don't need to remember every little detail you don't you can't remember everything but if you are splurging on skincare products and let me be very real some skincare products are so pricey they are they are expensive and it's super helpful to know what's actually in that jar and for people of color it's so important to be informed not all ingredients are tested on our skin. Not all ingredients are made with us in mind. A lot of brands out there, they are not made with people of color in mind. That's why I keep going back to Paula's Choice Ingredient Dictionary. It's such a good tool. It's totally free and it's easy to use. You can find ingredients listed alphabetically, sorted into categories and rated from the best, the worst. Plus it explains what each ingredient does, whether it's an antioxidant, or a calming agent or something that helps with pigmentation. What I love about the Polar's Choice is they don't just sell products, skincare products. They really prioritize educating their customers as well. You can learn about an ingredient and find a product that uses, that has that ingredient and it's used effectively. It's education and skincare all wrapped up into one website. And another tool that I like, another website that I like as well, it's fantastic. It's called the INC or INCI decoder. That one. You can copy and paste the product's ingredients list into their site and then break it all down in plain English. You see what each ingredient does, whether it suits your skin type and whether there's a chance it could irritate your skin. The industry has advanced so much with technology. We have apps now, we've got so many resources that you can use. AI as well, 
Just type in your new ingredient, then you quickly learn what it does, what you can pair with, where it comes from, if it's got fragrances or it doesn't. You, if you are interested, you can become a little skin nerd. So many resources out there, but the two that I've mentioned, I keep going back to them because they've been around for so long. Just go into my chat GPT sometimes, I just type in a product and it will tell me what each ingredient targets and whether it matches your skin needs. And seriously, if you are a product junkie like me, and not to look after your skin. These tools are your best friends in making informed decisions and choices. Tip number two, take a good look at the first five, six ingredients on the list. So if you go back at the back of any skincare product that you have in your bathroom, just look at the back and then the first five ingredients that you see at the back. Take a look at the first five or six ingredients on the list. These are the ones that are present in larger amounts in that skincare product. Or if it's a serum and it claims to brighten your skin, you will want to see ingredients like niacinamide, vitamin C or alpha arbutin listed on top because if it's claiming to be brightening, those brightening ingredients should be in larger quantities and should be listed at the first six ingredients or at the back of that skincare product that you're using. If they are buried at the bottom, they might not be in enough percentages or quantities to make a difference on your skin. But on this list, you usually find water, like typically water will be the first ingredient. And then you'll find things like glycerin, which is great for hydration, along with ingredients that give the product its texture. Just keep in mind that if the essential ingredients meant to treat your skin are way down at the bottom of the list, it might just be clever marketing. Usually you see on products written brightening serum, hydrating serum, or a calming serum. If there are no calming ingredients in it, then that's just marketing. So you have to be clever, choose wisely, and then you get exactly what you need for your skin. That leads me to tip number three. This one is so handy. It's a handy trick that I found from the Lab Muffin Beauty Science. She is so awesome at breaking this down. She does it way better than I can ever do. She is trained in this field. It's her job. There's an ingredient called Phoenix and Ethanol used as a preservative, and it can only be included up to 1% in skincare. So anything listed before phenoxyethanol is likely in higher concentrations. That is over 1%. And anything after is probably less than that. If a product says it has got bright and plant extracts, but those extracts are listed after phenoethanol, it's likely not enough to be effective. So if you go on the list, you see that that word phenoxyethanol, and then everything is listed after that, it then means it's not as effective on your skin. So that's a little good trick to maybe remember, just look at that long word. You want to focus on the things that are written before that long word. And then tip number four, keep an eye out for common irritants as well. How high they are on the list. Ingredients like fragrances, certain essential oils like citrus or peppermint and alcohol can irritate your skin, especially if they are listed at the top. They are not always bad, but a high concentration could cause issues, particularly for skin that is sensitive or if you are using other active ingredients as well. But remember, irritation on melanin-rich skin might not show up as redness, but it could lead to dark spots or uneven skin tone. So you have to watch out for, for that as well. And then tip number five, let's all be very real. Many of us have bought a product simply because the packaging was pretty. I know I, I do that. There are products that I buy because the, the packaging is so bomb. I want to see it on my vanity. It just, it just looks nice. I can just look at it. It's got the little spoon and whatever, but marketing is so clever. It has convinced us all that we need something and skincare packaging is designed to catch your attention, often using buzzwords like clean, chemical free or natural. But these terms are not regulated and they don't always reflect what's really in the product. 
For example, chemical free is a bit misleading actually. Everything is made from chemicals. Even water and aloe vera, they have chemicals. So when a label says chemical free, it's just a marketing game. It's clever marketing and we all fall for it. So the best way to know what you are really getting is to flip that product around and check the ingredients. If it claims to be soothing, calming or brightening, the ingredient list should support that. Don't just trust the front of the label. Skincare ingredients can feel so overwhelming at best, but once you know what to look for, you'll be making smarter choices for your skin in no time. If you learned something new today, give this video a like subscribe and let me know in the comment section do you check the back of your skincare products or just trust the front of it i am emily b a trained beauty therapist i'm here to help you curate a skincare routine that works just for you i hope i'll see you in the next video look after your skin because you really really deserve it